welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be showing you that how to get tiny 11 h2 that is the light weighted version of windows 11. now we all know the basic requirement the minimum requirement for windows 11 is 4 gigabyte of ram 64 gigabyte of storage and it need the tpm secure boot and the high cpu but what if you have the low end pc so for that tiny 11 is the best option because it only need 2 gigabyte of ram and only 8 gigabyte of storage and once you install this tiny 11 on any of your low end pc or laptop it will be working very smoothly and you will not be having any kind of problem so let's quickly get started and see that how you will have to install this and how you have to use it on your windows 11 so you will be getting the link in the description you will have to come to this website now once you come up here on the right hand side you will find the download option you will have to click on iso image and it's around 4.2 gigabyte so you will have to click on it and wait until it's all been downloaded okay so finally the tiny 11.23 h2 iso file has been downloaded now what you will have to do next you need to connect your pen drive or usb that you want to make bootable usb for tiny 11 connect to your computer then you will have to come to this website of Rufus that is a very popular tool to make such kind of bootable USB. So come to this page, scroll down, you will find Rufus 4.2.exe. Click on the link, download it. It's a very small in size. And once it will come up, it will come up with a very simple box like this. And as soon as it will come up, on the very top, you will find the device option that will automatically detect your pen drive. But still you need to make sure that it has detected the right USB that you want to make bootable Tiny11 bootable drive. So click on the drop down, choose the right one. Then in the boot selection, you need to locate to that ISO of Tiny11 that you have downloaded. So click on select. Select the Tiny11 23H2. Click on open. And all the options will be selected. In the volume label, you can just name it tiny 11 23h2 so that's okay then you have to click on start so now you can see it gave you a menu option like remove requirement for 4 gigabyte plus ram secure boot and tpm so it will be automatically bypassing all these options now the next one is remove requirement for an online microsoft account so if you don't want to start your windows 11 with microsoft account then you can also keep this option checked and if you want to remove Microsoft account, then what kind of local account you need? So you can type your desired local name and then you can keep the other option checked as well. Then click on OK. Now you will be getting a final warning that all the data in this USB pen drive will be deleted. So make sure that you don't have any kind of important data. So you can take the data back up first and then you can start the process. So once you're confirmed, you have to click on OK. And the process will now be started. And it will only take few minutes, like four to five minutes to complete the process. All right, so it's now all been done and it just took about a minute. So finally, our Tiny11 bootable USB is ready. So what you will have to do next, you need to take out the USB from this computer and connect to the computer where you want to install Tiny11. And once you have connected the USB to the computer, you will have to start the computer in the BIOS mode so that you can change the boot priority. Because you need to boot from your pen drive that you have made bootable USB so that the next time when the computer starts, it can boot with that. And once selected, the next time when the computer starts, you will be getting this kind of page. Now here you have to choose your language, desired keyboard layout, click on next. Accept the agreement, click on next. Choose the drive where you want to install it. Then you have to click on next. And the installation will now be started. So let's wait until it's all been done. And then I will show you what you will have to do next. And what kind of performance it gave in 2 gigabyte of RAM computer. All right, so finally the Tiny11 has been installed now and you can see that there is not any kind of bloatware. And even if I click on all app, so you will only find the required one and anything like Microsoft Teams, the GoTo and all these bloatware has been removed. 
and now if i go to the task manager the performance so you can see the cpu and the memory usage is very low and i'm running this only on 2 gigabyte ram of computer and still the 50 percent of the ram is only occupied the rest 50 percent is still free to use and it will be working very smoothly without any kind of problem so that's really amazing that's really very useful for the people who really want to enjoy windows 11 on the low end pc with unsupported hardware so that's all guys for today hopefully you will enjoy this video and found this video helpful then do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye